Uh, my name is Professor John Edoko. I'm the president of SAF, Society for AIDS in Africa, and the chairman of the 2019 uh, ICASA conference. Um, I think first, talk about what ICASA stands for. ICASA is the big forum where in Africa all um, our scientists, our policy makers, our civil society advocates, and every other person gathers twice, once in two years, sorry, uh, to exchange ideas about um, HIV and related diseases, which include TB, hepatitis, malaria, and now we're even looking at comorbidities, um, hypertension, diabetes, and even going to emerging diseases. Um, gathering knowledge, exchanging and, um, the knowledges that we've uh, gathered from our various research studies, and then seeing how we can get the policy makers to buy into some of the uh, very important programs that will help us to contain uh, HIV and all these related diseases. It's also a forum where um, we bring um, experts, you know, from all over the country um, to network in terms of research, which is critical for uh, what we do to bring an end to not only HIV, but the disease I just mentioned. Um, the 2019 uh, ICASA conference, we're planning to make it a special conference, given several various uh, things that have come by in the last two years. The first is that the knowledge about HIV has expanded in several areas, from the prevention to the treatment, to the care and support. There are new areas, and there are exciting research outcomes from prevention areas like pre-exposure prophylaxis, vaccines, and even the cure research that is going on for, for HIV. So these are things that uh, need to be shared, given also that a lot of these research studies are happening in Africa. Um, the second and very important thing is that we want to be sure that this conference is innovative. Like I mentioned, many things have happened down the line as far as HIV is concerned. We've learned a lot. HIV has given us the platform to learn so much about almost everything about disease, from chronic management to how we engage communities, to how we you know, uh, mobilize resources. And we need now to take that to even other chronic diseases. So we're looking at integrating HIV with other diseases like the co-infections, which are hepatitis and TB, and the comorbidities would be like malaria, um, and then other important comorbidities like diabetes and hypertension. One might ask, why diabetes, why hypertension? Two reasons. First, there's a growing uh, incidence of these two diseases in Africa, but more importantly, our patients are living in and because they are living much longer, we are seeing these diseases manifest in them. So that's another very important reason. And I forgot about hepatitis, which is also a big issue. So there are many diseases that we, are, we need to ad address now that are related to HIV, given the success that we have had in HIV. Don't forget, when we treat one person, he may have HIV, he may have hepatitis, he may have TB, he may have you know, diabetes, he may have hypertension. So, it is all about integration and multi-mobilities that we have learned, you know, how to deal with from three, four decades of uh, HIV work. Um, and I think the other very key thing now, uh, it's mobilizing resources. I think it is time for us to look inwards more and more, uh, given that money is drying out outside there. So. That would be one of the areas that we believe we will also be looking at. We're bringing in the number of policy makers at the level of ministers. And I think that a few heads of state will also come, you know, 
for very important leadership and plenary sessions. And may I also add that His Excellency, the President of um, Rwanda, um, His Excellency Kagame, will also be addressing one of the very important uh, plenary sessions because we know that political leadership and commitment is key, not only for HIV, but addressing the gamut of diseases that have. Of course, even the emerging diseases will not be left out. We know now that there is a cure for Ebola as a disease as reaching Africa. And we therefore can cut down on the morbidity and mortality. And you all know that for almost a couple of years now, we have treatment for hepatitis C that can cure it. And trials have been made even to cure hepatitis B. Where is Africa in all this? The drugs have been uh, difficult to assess. And I think that these are some of the issues that we need to put together as far as 2019 CASA um, conference is concerned. So if you, if I summarize, all these things, exciting things that we're looking forward to, more so everybody wants to come to Africa. It's one of the few African countries where we have seen, you know, both the um, a growth in the economy and in development has been phenomenal in the last few years. Maybe we will learn one or two things from there. Thank you very much. Um, affected Africa. Bonjour, je suis professeur Tandaha Ndiaïdi. Je suis le secrétaire général de la société africaine Antisida. Euh, vraiment, nous sommes dans un moment crucial. Le moment crucial, c'est 2019. 2019, ce que nous voulons, c'est vraiment que toutes les, tous les acteurs euh, qui travaillent dans le domaine du SIDA puissent venir ensemble au, ici à Rwanda, au Rwanda, pour discuter ensemble et pour trouver des voies et moyens qui nous permettent d'éliminer le SIDA complètement en Afrique. Nous voulons une, un, une Afrique qui n'a plus de SIDA. C'est ce que nous voulons. Donc, nous appelons tout le monde, les scientifiques, les communautaires, les leaders, de venir ensemble, de converger vers le, vers le Rwanda du 2 au 7 décembre, pour que enfin, enfin, je dis bien, et je répète enfin, que le SIDA soit en Afrique, en Afrique qu'il n'y ait plus de nouveaux cas d'infection contre le VIH. Aujourd'hui, on est très proche de l'élimination. On est très proche de l'élimination. Nous voulons vraiment que tout le monde soit ensemble pour qu'on puisse vraiment aider notre continent, qui est le continent qui a le plus grand nombre de personnes infectées par le VIH. Il est grand temps qu'on arrête cela. Il est grand temps vraiment que tout le monde travaille ensemble. Aussi bien dans le domaine de la vaccination, que dans le domaine du leadership, que dans le domaine communautaire, pour qu'on puisse vraiment tout mettre ensemble pour avoir vraiment une Afrique qui est libre, une Afrique qui est enfin libre et qui est enfin free du Sida, comme on le dit. Je vous remercie en tout cas. Rendez-vous du 2 au 9 décembre ici au Rwanda. Merci beaucoup. Um, the CASA for us, particularly as Africans, but also globally, is a very important um, event. It's a very important conference because that is where Africans, but also global partners, look at how to make sure that we invest in high impact intervention. How do we change the system? How do we ensure that we defeat HIV, particularly in this lifetime? So the most important thing for us here, uh, particularly in the conference, is to look at the innovation, the new technologies, where would the financing come from, how do we engage the young emerging leaders, because we really need new strategies, we need to make sure that we have the generation that can really defeat the, 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 the diseases. So for us, it's an opportunity to exchange uh, best practices. It's an opportunity to make sure that we are supporting each other. There's collaboration, cross-border collaboration. We're also looking at one space that we have not managed to defeat, particularly prevention of new infections. We want to look at key population. How do we engage key population? How do we ensure that there are really high impact prevention strategies to focus on key population? We want to ensure that we are leaving no one behind. We want to make sure that um, as, as a community, we are getting young women and girls into a space where we decrease their vulnerability to new infections. 
we want to engage them to make sure that they provide us with guidance because if we don't engage them, if we don't consult with them, they don't have the voice. We may miss a very important target. So for me, it's a very promising and it's a very opportune time to innovate, to lead um, and to invest in, in high impact interventions. Okay, my name is um, E. Ujola I'm the Council Representative of the United Nations Corporation for Africa. And uh, I'm here wearing the cap of being uh, a member of the board of the Society for AIDS in Africa, organized out of the CASA. The CASA is the International Conference on AIDS and STIs in Africa. It's an international conference by our standards. And having uh, participated in almost all the CASA conferences before now, I can say that um, we have a good conference ahead of us. The, the CASA conference will be taking place in December 2019, and it promises to be uh, a very, very fruitful one because of the groundswell, the planning that has taken place, the planning that has attended this. And um, we are today in um, Kigali, Rwanda, planning, the, having the final meeting, the last meeting before, before the conference in December. And with this, with the abstract that we are seeing, with the people that we are talking to, with the number of people that we are expecting, it promises to be a wonderful one. I want, I want to encourage everybody to as much as so to participate in it because the outcome of the conference will be, will be, will be, will be ground, um, will be very, very important to the, to the HIV AIDS um, um, response all over, all over the world, not, not, not just in Africa. Hello, I work with Nicholas as policy and advocacy team leader, and uh, it's my first time to engage in the CASA preparation. Um, and um, the first one was in March. I was gathered together and uh, discussed the progress of the preparation for the CASA. We also had an opportunity to go to the conference venue and brainstorm on, on effectiveness of the. Um, session and how to set the good environment for the ICASA conference. So this time around, this is a marathon meeting whereby we are now fast tracking uh, and uh, making sure that we end all the program and uh, we have been engaged in a review of the abstracts, we have been engaged in a community session um, suggesting and proposing who are going to be the chairs, who are going to be the speakers. And it's been really, really a good opportunity for me to be part of the community uh, team committee. And um, at least we have had a chance to advocate for you to be part of this conference to ensure that they can share with us what are the new innovations for ending HIV and also to ensure that we engage you in this whole program because they are the leaders of tomorrow. So with this conference, we expect to see a youth pavilion section where there's going to be a lot of display uh, of what the youth is doing in the community, what are the new innovations, what has worked well, and what other new innovations and programming that need to address the youth as far as HIV, um, uh, ending HIV uh, is concerned in, in Africa. So this is a very good opportunity for the youth to be part of this meeting, and I know there's going to be a section, a youth pavilion for them to showcase what they have been doing, which is a very great opportunity. Thank you so much. I'm Olua Kemi Benamosi. I work with the AIDS Healthcare Foundation based in Kampala, Uganda, the African Bureau. It has been such an enriching experience working with the ICASA planning team on the upcoming ICASA conference which will be holding in Kigali, Rwanda. And it's, it's such a beautiful thing to see experts come together to analyze and review applications from around the continent that speaks to HIV response, whether young people, whether we're talking about health system strengthenings or clinical progression that we have made in the fight. And I must say that this year's um, submissions are actually very, very enlightening. It's going to be such a rich time of discussion, learning and sharing. But one thing that stands out for me this year is how much more young people are at the center of this year's ICASA. Even in the submissions and the abstracts, applications and all of that, we see a lot more 
participation of young people. So it's no, it's no doubt that this year will be different when it comes to having young people at the center. Now, what are people going, what should people look forward to when they're going to CASA? Another enlightening time of sharing, learning, the advances that we have made as a continent in the fight against HIV. It is beautiful to see the different approaches and dynamism that organizations and individuals and grassroots, even at the grassroots level, are putting in, in the fight against HIV. I'm particularly very impressed at how much communities are doing leadership, ownership, and engagement at community level, which is where all of this should be transiting to. So if you're coming for ICASA, you would get to learn so much more about how you can engage your community even at the grassroots level, you know, in the HIV response. And if you're not coming for ICASA, well, it's sad, but you need to be at ICASA. Why? Because you will have an opportunity to learn so much, connect, network, and of course, advance your knowledge, improve your programming if you are an implementer in the fight against HIV. And I want to encourage anyone here that you should come for ICASA. And if you're not coming, too bad. You would miss out so much that you should have used to implement even back in your country. Bonjour, je suis Jean-Paul Nguéa, je suis consultant international en prévention et mobilisation sociale. J'interviens à la réunion marathon de l'ICASA 2019 dans le but de promouvoir cet élan que se donnent les Africains dans l'objectif le, d'en finir avec cette pandémie qui continue à miner le continent et le monde entier. Je suis fier des préparatifs en cours et un bravo déjà au comité d'organisation et à la société africaine anti-sida qui met tout en œuvre pour que cette réunion puisse être fructueuse et que cette conférence qui est prévue du 2 au 7 décembre de cette année puisse avoir un réel succès. J'encourage tous les bienfaiteurs à travers le monde et qui peuvent donner un coup de pouce pour la réussite totale de cet événement à ne pas hésiter un seul instant. Merci au comité d'organisation et à, à tous. part of the CASA 2019 process uh, programs committee. It has been a life transforming experience being part of this process because um, it dawned on me the influence and the effect that the CASA brings to the table as it concerns Nigerians, Africans, and the whole world in general. So for me, I believe that it is time to come and lend your voice and see what is happening in Africa, and see what is happening around the world, and see the role you can play to make all these processes better. ICASA 2019 is the ICASA to attend. Course, it is an experience that will leave you better than you were before coming to Kigali for the conference. Um, so I want to encourage my brothers, my friends, my colleagues, all our civil society people to come out en mass and come and make your voice heard and come and see what people like you have done and come and take lessons that would make you do more when you go back to your communities. It is time to act now. It is time to attend ICASA 2019 and to make our civil societies what they have always been. Thank you and God bless you. Je m'appelle Martine Kabogoubou. Je suis responsable du plaidoyer au sein de l'association ANSS au Burundi. Et en même temps, je suis membre d'une grande coalition internationale qui regroupe au moins 40 pays. Alors, de ce qui est de ICASA, ma contribution dans la préparation, c'est de m'assurer que la place des communautés 
est vraiment prise en compte et que leur participation tienne compte de leurs priorités. Pour nous, les attentes, c'est quoi C'est deux principales attentes. Nous espérons qu'elle aura la participation des leaders politiques décideurs. Et la première priorité, c'est vraiment leur engagement. Leur engagement pour les financements domestiques. Et la deuxième euh, attente aussi, c'est que les financements internationaux soient maintenus. Mais surtout, leur orientation, leur, la, la gestion et l'affectation, qu'elles soient orientées vers vraiment les des approches communautaires qui touchent le plus de population pour que chacun ait accès aux soins. Je suis Dr. Al-Mustafa Maïga, virologiste. Je suis membre de la track A. Et il faut un plaisir aujourd'hui pour partager la track A. Je suis virologiste du Mali. J'ai travaillé pendant plusieurs années pour l'ICASA. The steering committee and the Staka Ikasa Scientific Committee. So we, we received more than 250 abstracts in the track A and we select the best abstract for oral presentation divided in three oral sessions. And you will have one oral session about HIV drug resistance using the novel technology to access the drug resistance and its impact on the third 90 uh, and the development of the third 90. And we also, you have a, another session on uh, the development of uh, diagnostic tools for EID and viral load access. We will have another session about the trans HIV transmission and also uh, HIV latency for reservoir. And the last one is the HIV and co-infection with tuberculosis, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and you have also human papillomavirus and syphilis. This is a very attractive uh, track, and I think uh, this next ICASA will be the best one. And we also selected some best abstract award in this session, and we selected the best one. I will tell you that uh, you will have the best best one. Thank you so much. Je m'appelle Alain Manoua. Uh, je suis le président du Track B, uh, qui concerne tout ce qui est sciences sociales, droits humains et uh, accès aux services. Alors, au niveau du Track B, nous avons analysé uh, tous les abstracts que nous avons reçus. Nous avons reçu environ 673 abstracts et nous avons euh, catégorisé les abstracts en fonction de la qualité des documents que nous avons reçus. Nous avons euh, retenu euh, les meilleurs, donc ceux qui avaient euh, une note euh, environ euh, égale à 5 et plus pour euh, les posters et euh, ceux qui avaient une note euh, euh, en dessous de 5 jusqu'à 4 pour euh, euh, la deuxième catégorie de poster. Donc tout ce qui était au-dessus de 5, c'est les présentations orales. Et nous avons retenu 25 abstracts pour les présentations orales. Alors ce qui est attendu, c'est que nous aurons des interventions sur euh, les innovations liées à la communication, les questions concernant les populations clés, les questions liées aux droits humains, questions liées aux violences basées sur le genre et euh, les questions liées à l'accès aux services en matière de qualité concernant la réduction, la suppression de la charge virale et aussi la levée des barrières pour l'accès aux services pour les populations. Thank you uh, for having me. My name is uh, Henry Magai. I'm a medical doctor and I'm the project director of uh, the Care Continuum Project, uh, supported by USAID and PEPA in Ghana. Uh, and I'm also the track B chair for the ICASA 2019 meeting in Kigali, uh, Rwanda. Uh, the track B process has been very rigorous in terms of looking at the number of abstracts that we have received. 
we received over 500 abstracts and these went through first phase of review where all the abstracts were reviewed, reviewed by at least three uh, experts. And then those abstracts that scored uh, five or more points out of six points went through another review to select the best that uh, can be used for the oral presentations. For the oral sections for track B, uh, we are very excited to note that different abstracts from different thematic areas of track B uh, or were well, of very high quality. In fact, we're going to have uh, a session that will look at adherence to treatment. We're going to have a session that is looking at non-communicable diseases, uh, including uh, cervical cancer. We're going to have a track that is looking at viral load and linkage, uh, and also exploring the viral load spectrum and, and casting uh, when we look at the area of the third 90 in terms of the UN8 uh, 1990 targets. Track B is also uh, going to look at comorbidities, TB, uh, HIV, uh, hepatitis C, and hepatitis D co infections among persons living with yeah. HIV. So it is important uh, that we recognize that Kigali is going to be exciting. I think that uh, we've had the highest number of abstract submissions in the history of uh, ICASA. I also think that um, as experts gather uh, in Kigali, uh, we're going to have the best in terms of the science that is currently uh, available in the area of HIV uh, treatment, care and support, and prevention. Um, we have the opportunity to have experts that will discuss various aspects uh, of our HIV response in Africa and will bring um, ideas uh, and knowledge and suggestions at the cutting edge uh, of different areas of HIV response. Uh, we're going to have all the best in terms of uh, colleagues in the various areas who will gather in Kigali and are going to um, help us to improve our understanding and our knowledge in, in the HIV and AIDS response in, in Africa. I must say that the International Steering Committee is very committed. Uh, we have had the opportunity to work very enthusiastically within the track B uh, area. And uh, I think that at the end of the day, we're going to have you know, the best sessions. We're going to have the opportunity to have discussions, in-depth discussions. Uh, that is going to help everybody who would come to Kigali. Uh, um, let us uh, know uh, that the preparations are very advanced and um, it will be exciting. Um, I will encourage everybody uh, to prepare and to be able to, to visit uh, uh, Rwanda in, in December uh, for the ICASA conference. Thank you. Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Lubna Bhayani. Je travaille pour le Frontline East. Um, la siège est en Angleterre, uh, mais je suis le conseiller régional pour l'Afrique de l'Est et Australe et je suis basée ici à Dar es Salaam, France de l'Est. Et qu'à ça, c'est le, le conférence le plus important sur le VIH et SIDA en Afrique. Sur notre continent, là, on voit le nombre de nouvelles infections chez les jeunes filles qui sont très élevées. Ça continue à part. Donc c'est tellement important pour nous de vraiment se concentrer et regarder comment on peut adresser cette nouvelle infection chez les jeunes filles euh, 10 à 24 ans. Ça c'est vraiment mon message pour les cas. C'est important. Euh, on, est, on est depuis deux jours. On est là dans le planning des CASAP. Ça veut dire qu'on a passé beaucoup de temps à refaire la revue euh, de tous les abstracts. 
Donc, faire la réduction, ce n'est pas qu'une seule personne. On a besoin de euh, se mettre ensemble et il faut chaque aspect. Euh, on fait la réduction au moins trois, trois personnes pour faire la réduction. Donc, on a passé beaucoup de temps à faire la réduction des abstracts. Et ça, ça nous vraiment nous montre la, la richesse de tout ce qu'on fout les énergies, des programmes pour des jeunes filles, des programmes sur le biomédical, scientifique, euh, les populations clés. À les usagers de drogue. Donc, ça, c'est la richesse d'Afrique et la réponse. Euh, et les gens ici en Afrique. Euh, donc, pour nous, ça, c'est vraiment très, très important. Et je vais vous encourager de venir ici à Kigali et écouter. Écouter et apprendre euh, qu'est-ce qu'on qu qu fait ici et, et comment on pouvait nous appuyer. Hi, I'm Marcia Martin, and I am coordinating director of the Global Network of Black People Working in HIV. And it is my pleasure to be a member of the International Steering Committee for ICASA 2019, because we, as black people working in HIV, understand that we don't do our work by ourselves, that there is a diaspora, there are lots of people on the go, and here is an opportunity for many of us across the continent to come together and to work together to bring a important, important issue such as HIV before the world. The conference with its theme, AIDS Free Africa, Community and Innovation and Political Leadership, provides a perfect opportunity for community to come together in the context of new ideas, new opportunities, new interventions, and to work collaboratively with political leadership. And that's the fun part about working on ICASA 2019. This conference brings everybody together, community, leadership, innovators, researchers, clinicians, people who are really trying to take seriously addressing HIV and bringing it to an end. So we want to welcome you, we want to invite you, we want you to talk to all of your friends, all of your colleagues, and make certain that they are here with us in Kigali for I ICASA 2019. Okay, rapporteur général de cette conférence ICASA, euh, un service que j'ai toujours donné pour les conférences internationales sur le VIH en Afrique. Et je pourrais dire que je, je demande à ce que beaucoup de, beaucoup de gens viennent à, à cette conférence. Parce Il s'agit d'une conférence qui est unique où nous allons parler surtout d'innovation, du leadership communautaire et aussi de l'engagement politique. C'est une conférence à laquelle nous avons beaucoup travaillé sur la qualité. Donc même quand nous avons évalué les assemblées, nous avons encore réévalué en, en, au, au sein du comité scientifique pour avoir les meilleures présentations. Donc attendez pour avoir de très très bonnes sessions. Nous aurons également des sessions spéciales sur des thèmes qui sont des thèmes du défi aujourd'hui. La résistance, l'importance de l'utilisation des indicateurs de l'intégrale, notamment de l'intégrale. Et aussi, nous allons également mettre à l'agenda la fièvre hémorragique Avenus Ebola. Fièvre hémorragique Avenus Ebola, où nous aurons une session spéciale, nous aurons une table ronde. Également, nous aurons un workshop où nous allons apprendre aux gens comment est-ce qu'on s'occupe de cette maladie aujourd'hui, qui est aujourd'hui une urgence sanitaire, mais qui sévit également dans un pays frontalier avec le défi de la menace sécuritaire. Donc, je vous recommande vivement de venir à Ikasa. Vous allez apprendre des choses, des choses qui vont certainement changer votre manière de faire, parce que tout a été fait, tout a été préparé pour ça. Et puis, le Rwanda, également, c'est un très beau pays avec leur culture l'environnement dans lequel vous allez rester, et puis bien de choses que je ne vous dirai pas. Je vais vous demander ça, tout simplement, venir à Kigali, nous allons partager vraiment de bonnes choses. Merci beaucoup. My name is Lois Chingandu. I'm the Director of Evidence, Innovation and Influence for Frontline AIDS. Uh, we are participating in the ICASA conference because it is a, a very important conference for Africa. The theme of this conference this year is uh, an AIDS-free Africa. It's very important as we think about eradicating HIV 
that we focus on three critical things that this conference is going to be looking at. We cannot end AIDS without being innovative. We have been fighting HIV AIDS for decades. We now need some innovation to be able to make that last leap to moving towards ending AIDS. The second critical thing is the community. It's not possible to end AIDS without community participation, without community ownership. We have to put into the hands of the community the power to make decisions about their lives, the power to make decisions about treatment, and the power to make decisions about rights. Uh, the community is a critical player within the ICASA conference. The third thing is that of political leadership. It is time now for Africa to really be serious about political leadership within the, the fighting HIV. And therefore, this conference is going to be looking at these three important areas to ensure that by the end of 2030, we will have really made strides towards ending AIDS. So I invite you to come to the CASA conference. It's going to be different this year because we are looking at innovation. We have carefully selected the abstracts that are going to be presented, scientific ab abstracts, community-related abstracts, leadership abstracts. All of them are pointing towards looking at innovation and looking at how we can seriously aid, uh, aid for Africa.